Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Matt, and today I want to talk about something that might help you to kind of keep your motivation going, especially in these periods where you're kind of struggling or you're just really trying to get to fun and compelling content, really trying to enjoy the language learning itself. And I think that the kind of big lesson um, and the big thing that I would just stress in this video is really just keep going and it gets better. It gets more enjoyable. Um, you know, when we talk about learning a language, I think that the real fun and excitement and joy from learning a language kind of comes from using very fun and compelling content um, and, and getting these experiences that really make uh, learning the language worth it. And I think that when I think about what that means or what, is, what that looks like, um, it kind of takes on a couple of different forms. So for example, it might be having really compelling and fun and interesting conversations with people, right? Where it's not just this very basic conversation, how's your day, um, you know, what's your name, etc. But these really deep conversations about things that you want to talk about, um, really getting to know people, um, right? Having these kind of really compelling conversations. It's also um, reading in another language where you're reading books or you're reading about content that you find enjoyable, but you're you're doing it in the language that you um, have been learning or watching compelling uh, TV shows um, on Netflix or compelling audio content with podcasts or maybe it's even playing um, video games in another language, right? There's so many of these kind of fun activities that I think make the language learning um, a lot more enjoyable and they're also really effective methods in of themselves, right? Where if you're having a lot of fun in the language learning process, it's a lot less of a grind and it's more okay that it takes time to reach fluency, right? It's okay that you're not there yet because you're having fun along the way. You're having these great conversations. You are um, having fun reading and you're learning um, things um, in addition just to the language learning itself, right? Because you're maybe reading about technology or science or something like that. And that's something that you enjoy, but you're also getting better at the language at the same time or you're enjoying Netflix shows. So it's it's this is, in my opinion, really where learning a language is a lot of fun, right? Because you're getting the best of both worlds. You're having fun and you're learning at the same time and you know, you're know you also just growing as a person. And you know, when I think about learning a language, it, a lot of times you know, that, that fun, compelling part is not necessarily the beginning, right? It's not the gamified app or um, you know, learning the initial greetings in the language. That could be fun and, and novel and compelling at times. Um, but really, I think where language learning starts to really stand out and to have um, a lot of uh, where things get really fun is in that compelling content phase of things. So if you're in that kind of beginner stage or intermediate stage and you're not there yet, just um, I would just say it gets better, right? The higher skill level that you get, um, it's, it becomes more enjoyable. And that might seem obvious, but it, it's, it's not to say that you have to reach this advanced level to start enjoying things. You know, uh, it, there's you just have to stick with it and, and come up with a game plan on getting to that place where you're using compelling content. And really it's just a, about some degree of foundation with vocabulary and a bit of grammar. And then it's just putting in the time and work to get better, right? And it's going to be a struggle, right? When you are using something like video games and uh, trying to learn a language at the same time, right? It's going to be overwhelming. Like I, I promise you, it's going to be difficult. Or with Netflix shows, um, it's going to be challenging at first, even with subtitles, right? Um, or practicing to read, right? If you want to read classic fiction, expect a challenge, but it does get easier. You get more comfortable with the failure. You get more comfortable with the overwhelming feeling of things. Um, and as you learn more words, as you get better at listening, it becomes more enjoyable. You get more out of it, and then your uh, learning effectiveness also improves. And um, you know, you don't have to be at that advanced level. You just have to get that foundation vocabulary and, uh, and grammar. And slowly but surely, everything will slowly come in place. Your speaking will get better. Your listening will get better. You just have to put the time and energy in. And, you know, incrementally, the material will become more and more fun, right? The video game at first, for example, is going to be challenging. You're not going to understand what's going on for the most part. But overall, you know, with more time, you know, you'll understand how to navigate the menus. And so that will be okay. You'll, you'll learn the words for those things. You'll um, slowly understand more and more of the story. And you'll be able to play for longer and longer and enjoy the experience more and more. And the language learning will blend into the fun activity itself. Same with something like uh, the Net uh, Netflix show or watching YouTube videos or even speaking, right? Um, 
you know, there's going to be times where you're just going to um, make mistakes, right? You're going to use the wrong word order, the wrong grammar, conjugate things incorrectly, pronounce things wrong. But, you know, slowly you're going to have more and more compelling conversations. I mean, this has been my experience where, you know, um, I, I've been talking about things that I really enjoy and, and like to talk about. And um, yeah, I'm making some mistakes here and there, but it, I'm having these really deep, compelling conversations. There's just some grammar mistakes here and there. Um, there's some kind of shakiness at times, but I'm, I'm in that experience and it gets better and better the more I practice speaking. Um, and it's the same with really all these activities. Like I said, with the video games, um, I've had that experience as well where things are really tough at first and it gets better. Same with Netflix shows where at first I, I really don't know what's going on, but then I slowly am enjoying them more and getting more out of it. So I think that, you know, eventually don't be afraid to jump into that stuff. Go and dive in and just expect a challenge and realize that, you know, as you keep getting better at the language, it's going to get easier and get more fun, right? Don't quit too early and um, things do get better, right? Things do become more fun and compelling outside of the gamified app as a beginner or the flashcard list. Not to say that those things are bad or um, the apps are bad or the flashcards or um, any, any of the other like initial language learning methods and things, right? And a lot of those things are important, right? It's important sometimes, in my opinion, to pick up a grammar book or to learn some of those key words or whatever it is, but just realize that it gets better and it becomes more fun and compelling. And that's just been my personal experience. So, you know, if you've had a similar experience where, you know, you've kind of got to a more higher skill level or, um, you know, you, you kept putting in the time, you know, uh, please leave a comment below to let me know how your experience has been, where it became more enjoyable. Um, if it did become more enjoyable, um, I'd love to hear about that. Um, and I think others would find value in that as well. But um, that's really what I had to say. Just stick with it. Things do get better. They get easier. Um, things become more fun and enjoyable. And like I said, kind of past that beginner stage into that compelling content phase where you're using reading, video games, uh, you know, audio content, speaking, all those things. When you start doing those things very actively in your language learning process, things become a lot more fun. And that's probably, in my opinion, the most fun part of the entire language learning process in and of itself. So that's what I had to say. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.